Yo, it's King Heartless. You already know it's getting kind of dark now. But yo, that's what I'm trying to say, right? Semen retention will make you successful, bro. You know what I mean? All these dudes, bro, who's old and they rich and they wealthy and they got money, bro, and they doing good in life now, bro. Yo, this is how they got there, bro. This is how they started, bro, with SR being celibate, bro, focusing on their self, getting on their grind, bro, cutting off women, bro, cutting off these toxic Jezebel women. You know what I'm saying? This is how they do it, bro. They, they start in their 20s, bro, and they get there in their 30s, in their 40s, bro. They get super successful. You probably, you might even be super successful in a couple years, a year or two, bro. On SR grinding, bro. You gonna take over? You gonna take over nations, bro? When you on SR grinding, bro. You know what I mean? This is how you become successful, bro. This is how you get money. This is how you get everything, bro. Because when you bust, bro, you bring bad luck to yourself. You telling the universe, oh, I don't really want it that bad. But when you when you out here grinding, bro, you become successful, bro. You're going to get the money. You're going to get the car. You're going to get the girl that you want, bro. Everything that you want, bro. Everything that you want is coming, bro. I promise you, bro. Everything you want is on its way, bro. All the blessings are on the way, bro. You know what I mean? For the chosen ones, bro, all the blessings are on the way, bro. You know what I mean? You're going to be blessed, highly favored by God, highly favored by the universe when you when you practice SR, bro, semen retention. This is the secret sauce, bro. You know what I mean? They be talking about I got the sauce, bro. What kind of sauce they be talking about, bro? You got that you got that Alfredo sauce, bro in your body bro and yo that's the thing too bro these dudes out here they don't really know what healthy sperm is bro because yo last time right when you busting your load every day bro your sperm is gonna be white bro it's gonna be white right you have little white sperm bro but when you actually holding on to your seed bro you actually holding on to your nut and letting it letting it letting it marinate in your body bro letting it cultivate in your body bro yo it's gonna be gold bro you're gonna have gold sperm your bot your sperm is gold bro that's what i'm saying it's more precious than you think it is bro it's more precious bro your sperm got power to populate the planet bro anything you put your energy towards bro on sr bro it's gonna happen quicker it's gonna happen faster it's gonna multiply quicker bro so you know what I mean, bro? You want that money, bro? You want that fame? You want that success, bro? Semen retention is the way to get that money, to get that fame, to get that success. You want to be a rapper, bro? You want to be in the NFL, bro? This is how you got to do it, bro. You got to practice SR, bro. You got to hop on your grind every day. Hop on your horse, bro. You know what I mean? And conquer, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is how you conquer the world, bro. SR, bro, this take this make you take over the world, bro. Jesus Christ was celibate for 33 years, bro. And look at him now, bro. The most famous man to ever exist, bro, is Jesus Christ, bro. You know what I mean? Celibate for 33 years, bro. You know what I mean? Died for your sins, died for my sins, bro. How you think he got that famous, bro? He, like, bro, he wasn't at when he was living, walking the earth, bro. He had about a thousand, two thousand followers, bro. A lot of people knew who he was, but he had like a thousand, two thousand followers, right? And by the end, bro, when he died, bro, over a couple thousand years, bro, it went from a couple thousand people knew him. Even after he died, it was after he died, he became more famous, bro, because of his celibacy, bro. Because of his because of his sacrifices he made for God, bro. You know what I mean, bro? Like, yo, you know how you know how famous that man is, bro? Billion, couple billion people know who he is. It says, bro, that the whole planet will know who he is by the time he by the time he comes back, bro. Everyone will know who Jesus Christ is by the time he comes back, bro. That's eight billion people, bro. Everyone knew who he was, bro, because of celibacy, because of semen retention, bro. Because, bro, that's what he did, bro. You know what I mean? That's that was. This is powerful, bro. It's how you become successful, bro. You know what I mean? Mike Tyson went five years celibate. Look at him. He's super famous, bro. You know what I mean, bro? There's there's basketball players, bro. People don't talk about it. 
people don't be talking about how they're celibate like that but this is the secret sauce bro you want to become successful you want to get that money you want to have you want to have your dreams come true bro you making your dreams come true when you practice sr celibacy you know what i'm saying bro like yo me personally bro i never thought i could get close to a thousand subscribers on youtube and now i know i'm about to surpass a thousand subscribers on youtube bro easily bro you know what i mean like yo you like yo when you growing up you kid you in high school bro you have no clue what you about to do you know what i mean you have no clue but if you practice sr bro semen retention the path is just gonna be laid out laid out for you bro you gonna know exactly what you need to do you gonna you gonna do what you need to do you gonna find out what you need to do bro you know what i mean because you don't you you ain't going by your own plans bro god has a plan for your life bro god has it all mapped out god knows the perfect way bro god knows the plan bro that's the only way you gonna become successful bro is practicing sr following god bro because yo it really is like that bro like i know bro that if i fall short i still got my seed you know what i mean bro i still got my energy bro that god gave to me bro this is the energy that makes men powerful bro people gonna look at you bro and not even believe some of the things that you be saying bro like if you tell somebody that you didn't drink no food i mean you didn't eat any food or water for three four five days bro they're not gonna believe you bro because they don't believe in god bro you know what i mean you know you could do anything with when you have the power of god bro jesus went 40 days and 40 nights no food and no water bro and people be people be looking people be saying that it's a fairy tale the bible bro the bible is nothing but the truth bro so i'm trying to say to you bro people be thinking it's a fairy tale bro but when you actually do some of the things they do in the bible yourself bro you gonna know it's the truth and you gonna know it was real bro that's just what I'm saying, bro. You know what I mean, bro? Like, bro, how else these men get successful like that? Everyone who, everyone who's in Christianity and is a follower of Christ knows who Elijah is. Everyone who's a follower of Christ knows who Moses is, bro. You know what I mean, bro? Because it's all written in the Bible, bro. You know what I'm saying? These are all famous men throughout history, bro. How you, how you think? You think they wasn't celibate? Man, they were celibate for the most part, bro. They weren't out here masturbating. You know what I mean? Masturbating is like low-level stuff, bro. Low-life stuff, bro. You don't want to masturbate. You don't want to do none of that, bro. You know what I mean? Like, bro, the devil, the devil looks, the devil looks and makes everything good, bad. So, you know what I'm saying? He's going to make the rainbow. The rainbow stand for something bad when it's actually something good. You know what I mean? God created the rainbow. You know what I mean? heartless right my name heartless bro it means i'm heartless for god bro you know what i'm saying i gave my heart to god bro but people the devil gonna look at it and think about like oh you heartless with you heartless with woman you you heartless with this you know what i mean but yo i got heart bro i got love bro you know what i mean i got passion i'm not heartless you know what i'm saying i got love you know what i mean bro like people be people be saying and people be thinking the wrong things bro you know what I mean? My name is something good, bro. My name means something good, bro. It doesn't stand for something evil. It doesn't stand for something bad, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yo, I never I never told nobody what heartless means, but I'm saying it now, bro. That's what it means, bro. It means I'm heartless for God, bro. What you talking about? I gave my heart to God. When, right when I made my name, it used to be young and heartless, bro. When I made the name, bro. That's when I that's when I first started really following God. That was like four years ago. I started following God heavy, bro. Because my life wasn't going the way it was going, bro. I was depressed. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I was depressed, bro. Like depressed. Super depressed, bro. Like how these rappers be depressed. You know what I mean? That's how I was. I was depressed, bro. Like I didn't have a good day. You know what I mean? I didn't have a good day for a year, bro. There wasn't a good day in my life for for a year you know what i'm saying bro like that's how i knew and then god came to me i had a spiritual awakening you know what i mean and i and i wasn't depressed anymore like i was still i still get bad days where i'm not feeling like i'm feeling not right but yo you gotta choose to be happy you gotta choose to be joyful you know what i mean bro because it's not easy out here to be happy with 
the modern world we live in, you know what I mean? The way that things are going. But, bro, when you got God, bro, man, you're going to have jokes with God. You're going to be with God all day, every day. God's going to talk to you every day, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be with God. God's going God's gonna to help, help you on your journey, bro. God's going to strengthen you. God's going to strengthen you spiritually, bro. You know what I mean? The, yo, I find that, like, every time I fall short or I slip up or something, I start going even harder, bro. Or the devil attacks me, bro. And, like, yo, like, spirits attack me, bro. I start going even harder for God, bro. You know what I mean? The devil works hard, bro, but you got to work harder than the devil, bro. You know what I mean? Because the devil don't sleep. The devil's out here working 24-7. But you following God, bro, you know what I mean? You got to combat the devil, bro, with God's word. You got to combat the devil with the truth. You got to combat the devil with the knowledge, bro. You know what I mean? And the truth isn't what you think the truth is, bro. The truth is what Jesus spoke, bro. That's the truth, bro. You know what I'm saying? There ain't nothing else that's the truth out here, bro. You gotta, you gotta get into the gospel, bro. You gotta really believe the gospel, bro. You gotta believe that Jesus died and came back to life, bro. That's what you gotta believe out here, bro. You really want SR to work for you. You really wanna get gr grinding on semen retention, bro. You can't do it without Jesus. You can't do it without God, bro. Because God gonna push you to the next level, bro. And God gonna make you one of them great men throughout history, bro. Your name gonna be remembered forever, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna live for a thousand years. You're gonna reign with Christ for a thousand years, bro. You're gonna rule with Christ for a thousand years, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? You're gonna become like Gandhi out here. You go, Like, bro, you're gonna become like Gandhi. You're gonna become like Buddha. You're gonna become like jesus christ bro but i don't you know bro you can't put nobody above jesus christ bro jesus christ was the truth bro the way the life you already know what jesus christ is man come on now come on now stop playing with jesus christ bro you can't play with jesus christ name bro like people to this day still mock jesus christ still make fun of jesus christ and i still don't understand it because bro jesus christ died for you so you could live bro jesus christ died for you died for your sins bro you know what i'm saying jesus christ died so you could be forgiven of your sins bro just forgiven of all the wicked all the evil that you've done in your life bro like bro king david was out here killing people bro king david was out here slaying people bro and he was still forgiven bro jesus comes jesus is mentioned in the bible as the son of king david you know what i'm saying so jesus came from king david's bloodline bro you know what i mean bro like bro the bible is different bro you really gotta believe it bro because it's true bro it has nothing but truths in it nothing but facts in it nothing but men who actually existed and actually did supernatural things bro yo we don't believe that these men could do supernatural things and superpowers and these supernatural healings could happen bro because the the society we live in now bro has no faith bro the society we live in, live in now is faithless, bro. They don't believe in God. They don't believe in Jesus Christ, bro. You know what I'm saying? They're unbelievers, bro. They'll wear a cross and not even believe it. They just wear it because they think it looks good. You know what I'm saying? They'll wear it because, oh, it looks good. Or they trying to deceive a man of God, bro. Because a man of God is going to be able to discern you and see that you ain't really from God. You know what I'm saying? You ain't really out here love god like the way you say you do bro you know what i mean like bro men like bro they're gonna actually be inspired by you all the people who went against you are gonna be inspired by you eventually bro when they see that you out here successful you out here leveling up your life bro you went from you went from a thousand subscribers on YouTube to ten thousand subscribers on YouTube. You know what I'm saying, bro? They're gonna actually be inspired by you, bro, and they're gonna want to change their life and they're gonna want to do better in their own life. You know what I mean? That's why you gotta keep grinding, keep going, bro. These videos, as long as I'm on SR, as long as I'm celibate, bro, I'm making these videos, bro. You know what I mean, bro? I'm out here. I'm grinding, bro, on this channel, bro. It's 2023, bro. I have no time. I'm saying I have no time to waste out here, bro. It's 2023. We got no time to waste, bro. We got to be on our grind. We got to be, we got to be getting into the word, bro. 
We got to be loving God, bro. We got to be trying to be successful in our life. You want to be a great man, bro? You got to follow God, bro. Follow his commandments. Do what the Bible says to do, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? And you're going to be highly blessed. You're going to be highly favored. They're going to have no choice but to listen to you. They're going to have no choice but to be inspired by you, bro. Yo, my phone keep running out of storage mad quick because, yo, that's how much messages we be spit, spitting out here. You know what I'm saying? But, yo, that's what I'm saying to you, bro. Keep doing your thing. Keep grinding on SR, bro. They have no choice but to be inspired by you. They're going to be inspired by you. All your haters, all your enemies, all the people who went against you, they're going to see you. They're going to see you being prosperous. They're going to see you being abundant. And they're going to realize that, oh, they were wrong the whole time, bro. You know what I'm saying? But yo, like, comment, and subscribe.